What's up guys, Jeff Side here. We're doing a training video with one and only Kai Green. We're here from the Shape U Supplement Distributor. We're in Germany, we filmed a little workout video today. We've got a long debate right here. Have fun. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to make it happen. Watch out for these guys, they're a little too sexy. <laughs> Strictly for the ladies, I'm just gonna try to hang in there. <laughs> Again, I'm looking to address the totality of my rectus abdominis. <coughs> so I'm looking at my pelvis, I'm looking at my trunk. What I'm going to do is you're going to stretch, and you're going to contract. I want to shrink the distance between these two areas by contracting my abdominal. The rectus abdominis is from the fifth across the cartilage all the way down to the top of my pubic symphysis. By shortening the distance between my trunk and my pelvis, the contraction is what occurs in my abdominals. That make sense? So we're gonna start with a basic crunch. This is this is something that I've taken this, it's taken me halfway around the world as a as a competitive bodybuilding athlete in the world. It doesn't have to be so flashy and fancy in order to be efficient. Mind muscle connection. Well, if you can apply that too, that, that <laughs> works a lot. <laughs> Next movement is, is, a, is a crunch, but for the use of my external obliques. So it's a stretch that, again, I'm promoting distance between the top of my thorax and my pelvis, shrinking the distance between that by a contraction that occurs in my external oblique. I'm gonna do that on both sides. The next thing would be, if I put my hands together, that hollowed out area in between my hands is where I want to put the tail end of my spine, the coccyx. This becomes important because I keep my heels to about six, maybe about an inch or so above the floor. I'm not here. I'm here. This allows me to crew not only my lower abdominals, but also again the total amount of my, my rectus abdominis. So from the fifth intercostal cartilage all the way down to my deepest synthesis. So I'm sitting up here, it's a contraction of my abdominals. That was a block me to like 20 and like right through it. 20 reps in. Right knee, but it aims to connect 
the old tunnel that would have been in the tracks here, through me, through my Rex of Thomas and my external group, we went to that whole side, then go back and repeat those. Pretty much no wasted movement. No wasted movement. Exactly, exactly. exactly. Attention the entire time. I like it. Thanks. Stretch. Track one. Stretch. Track two. Three. Instead of having to stay here and do this, you can actually fire and recruit the right muscles when you do doing the bent exercise. In, in order to do your like your bent over lateral. Yeah. Um, your bent over lateral again is going to speak to 
infra spinatus. It's going to speak to the super spinatus. It's going to speak to the the muscles at the rear cap of your rotator cuff, just as when you do your your uh, external lateral rotation, which is a side lateral and even a front raise. Those things will start to speak to the super spinatus and and the um, the uh, um, the weaker link in your rotator cuff um, construction. So that's one of the reasons why naturally, in the beginning of my, my training team, like with, with the warm up like this, I speak, I, you know, I do the pull ups and tips, I go over and I do the, the bent over laterals with my pull downs and my side laterals. I'll do a set of front raises with um, um, external rotation on my, on my, on my, um, on my delts as well as uh, an upright row. Now, my warm -up, when my warm-up is done, believe it or not, I've, had, I've done some things that have a positive impact on um, my shoulder joint. Yeah, you stimulated it. Uh, Very. So now, if I'm going to do arms, if I'm going to do back, if I'm going to do chest, if I'm going to do, you know, I can do that, I can proceed comfortably yeah. knowing that some of the... You're warmed up, right? Go. Yeah, does that make sense? Great yeah, I got you. In fact, every day. More importantly than the improvements in my back, my arms. The arms and forearms, yeah. So I realized that even though the standard the traditional thinking was hooks for my back to address my, you know, the other part of your, your shoulder, yeah. the benefit, the payoff to me was actually filling out. The secondary muscles. Better, the secondary yeah. muscles, yeah. So, you know what, what I started doing was I kind of go back to that. I didn't realize how much those muscle groups come into play. Yeah. And they're the ones that are getting fatigued long before anything else gets tapped. But the benefit was, in certain poses, you know, I was more impressive. So, as a person that's sitting down, organizing my routine, thinking about how I can progressively become better and put a better package for the following year, I realized some things I have to put back in the training. And this was one of those things to start. So, to answer your question, I think around the long loop with dips, I mean, you can do dips all day if you're a very heavy dip. You just go in motion, yeah. But if you're actually paying attention to the muscle that you're trying to hit, that's, that's the difference. So yeah. Twelves, usually around 12s and 15s okay. dips. And pull ups, I found that sixes, when my pace is up, sixes are good enough for me. Yeah. You know, but also being a 300 pound guy, <laughs> you know, a lot more to do. Yeah. Pull down. Yeah. So the 
instead of a pronated grip, supine, and I'm pulling down. Now, believe it or not, when I pull down here, what's happening is I'm actually recruiting all the muscles of my upper back, which are the rear portion of my shoulder. So my rear delts, traps, rhomboids, and the top of my lats, I'm calling, I'm calling into play. My biceps may come into play a little bit, yeah. but I'm really not trying to pull with my biceps. Exactly. I'm not trying to All pull focusing pull. on the back. Right. So are you gonna are you gonna go full stretch or keep tension the entire time on the back? Well, you always want to keep tension. Always. Always. That's the most important. Always. Right? That's, that's that that is the, the, your body's your mind's ability to keep to keep a contraction on the muscle is how you elicit control. Yeah. Even in the stretch portion of the movement, you know the thing that makes this whole thing work. Is your ability to focus your mind My muscle on the muscle. Yes, yeah. that makes sense? Totally, totally. Bend over lateral, pull down, side lateral.
whole life. I was actually locked away in the institution for some reason. At 12? Just being a rebel badass and getting into trouble. Yeah. <laughs> it helped a lot because, you know, at the root of this thing is self development. Seeing the power of your focused thinking, uh -huh. you know, at the root of this whole thing, the thing that makes an arm go from 7 inches. 7, 8, 17 inches, maybe 23 inches, you know, is focused concentration. Being able to take your thoughts and focus them into a razor sharp laser. Yeah, it's just like get into that room, close your eyes, and just focus on that muscle as you go. And that's that's, that's exactly. the difference. That's With yeah. everything. Day by day, for a long time, all this energy. Yeah, like when you do it for years and years after a while, it's like, it's so natural after that. It's just. Talks so much. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to throw these yeah, away, and then uh, let's get started. Hey, what's up guys? Jeff Side here. We're doing a training video with one and only Kai Green. We're here for the Shape U Supplement Distributor. We're in Germany. We filmed a little workout video today. We've got a long bay right here. Have fun. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to make it happen. Watch out for these guys. They're a little too sexy. Woo! <laughs> Strictly for the ladies. I'm just going to try to hang in there. <laughs> Oh yeah, see guy he goes 
kind of felt my back and my tricep. Yeah, it's, it's kind of light. So, so what you want to do is not think about your chest. I mean, not think about your, your lats, your serratus. You just squeeze your chest, squeeze your chest like a reverse most muscle. Like a reverse most muscle, but instead of when you're down. So the contraction is always in your chest first. Chest, 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 chest. This is a very good prerequisite exercise before getting into the incline bench, flat bench. So it forces you to pump the blood to increase the range to the chest. To get a better connection. Yes. What's your opinion on like targeting the inner chest or certain parts of the chest? Well, you think I, you can? Or? Absolutely. What Hell yeah, exactly, exactly. Because it's like, obviously, if you're, if you're if you try to target it, the next day it's sore, <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, targeting, I think, is about thinking. Yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. my thoughts on, on that sort of truth. So, like what he's doing right now, if you're doing this and you get up and there's a pump in your thighs and your calf, then it's all you're doing something wrong. Right. Yeah. Okay, this is the third set. Yeah. Now, this is this is this is the money set, and we're gonna move on from here. So. At this point, Eric, what should be, you know, we want it to be, we should be ready to move on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing now? Let's see, let's take this. Oh, the same rules of fire. Overextending myself a little too much, too soon. <laughs> All right, but again, the basic, very, very basic. Yeah. Stretch it out the bottom. Big range of motion. I'm gonna stretch this bitch. Touch that chest. Just time to squeeze. All the way down to the bottom. Stretch. Squeeze two, three, four, five, six.
the swap. That's it. I, my problem when I first started training is like five first five years, man, just going through that motion. You know? So but, but, yeah, but yeah, I think right keeping keep the elbows in, even like something I've tried is like trying to bend the bar in half. Ah. Well. And then it even like targets the chest even more. It just keeps tension on it. Very well. It, it's just a good thing to go for beginners, but once like, you know, you're doing it forever, it's kind of like. Well, you know what? Because you can always do better. You know? Yeah, exactly. Okay. 
Some people just got it. I saw this one girl, 13 year old, she's benching 275. One rep. And she was a normal star. Oh, I saw that MHP. She's on MHP. Yeah. 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 I saw that. She's got that big arch, but still, it's like. Fuck, <laughs> oh, bro. Oh. I saw that shit out. Woo! It's crazy, man. Good shot. Good shot. Yo. Let's go, let's go. Nine, let's go. 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 Let's
let's go, let's go. Ten, let's go, let's go. Nine, twelve. Gym, I used to think, yo, I need to be able to yeah, see the strongest guy in the gym every week. Every time, what can I squat? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna try to squat 800 pounds every time. <laughs> you max every you week. Every, every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every yeah. training session. But, you know, you get a little older. Yeah, you get that progressive. Mature enough, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Let's get it. Oh, I'm going to up the rest of my training partners Probably to go yeah. through the rotation. Yeah. How, how long is the normal workout for you? Like four or three hours? Usually about two and a half hours. Oh really? Two? Yeah. Two and okay. Three. okay. okay.
efficiently and I'll get more out of it without necessarily having to go heavier, you know, or even going to increase the reps pretty much. Well, yeah, you just keep the shoulders rolled back the whole time pretty much. Every inch each. I mean, really, it's, it's really trying to take my bicep and my, my front delt out of it as much as possible and just my chest, my chest in there. Okay. Um, I used to have a really shallow of the chest. Yeah. Really shallow of the chest. One of the things that I've been doing significantly over the last four years in my career has been my chest. I used to just focus on it. I yeah. dealt so much that my, my chest was like op non existent. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Same here, man. Like, I used to just go through the motion. My chest was shit. And then once it actually started hitting it, it's two times as big mm -hmm. in the past year compared to like what I did like seven years. You know what okay. I mean? It's, just, it's so important the going through, like, just focus on the muscle. Mm -hmm. That's what everyone doesn't do. They just go through the motion, you know what I mean? They, the ego lift, they pick the weight that's too much for them, and then it gets too heavy on, like, the fifth rep, and they just... Right. And use momentum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had some really great training partners over the years. Yeah. But, um, presently, I just rarely was inspired by, you know, female bodybuilders. What you, you be training at? I'm at, a, I'm at a couple of gyms, but I do go I up to Steve Weinberg's gym no. out in yeah, Steve Weinberg's gym out in Sayasa. Yeah, yeah. As you can tell, you know, it's like children back to talk concentration on the gym. You know what? The truth is, the whole time, yeah. you're talking to yourself. And you're saying, can I feel that? What do I feel that? What do I feel that? Breathe, please, here, here, you know. So it's a constant dialogue, you know, with yourself. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Until you find that sweet spot, and then you find it, and then, and then it's game over, and after that, you just got it. You know, when I trained with George, yeah. George always wants me to do he always got me coming up and pressing at the time. Okay. Coming up and pressing at the time. And honestly, I do feel the difference, you know. There's something to be said for what it actually adds to the movement, you know. Um, little tweaks, it's a you little know, thing, yeah. will, will really help. I even noticed, like, on cable crossovers, if you actually cross over, mm -hmm. you get more of a full, like, flex. It's like, I don't know, I just feel a lot more instead of stopping there. Right, it's right, that right, full, right. like, complete mm -hmm. motion there, yeah.
and not have that every time too when you're doing it, you can just cause your, your upper chest to explode. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Big, huge difference, man. I thought that that muscle mind you mentioned. What? Okay, so we are officially and That's it. Done. Pullover, uh -huh. um, which helped us to put blood in our, in our chest. I like doing pullover first, honestly, dude, because like normally when you do it at the end, you're kind of dead and exhausted. Mm -hmm. Doing it first, you can totally focus on the chest. It yeah. helps to pre exhaust. Exactly, exhaust pre exhaust. You that full, full stretch, yeah. And put a lot of blood in there. That, that allows you to turn around and more effective. Believe it or not, it helps your movements become that much more efficient when we start talking about opening up and doing your. Your incline barbell presses, uh -huh. which is what we went into from that incline barbell presses. From there, we went into right into flat bench, and then from flat, we finished with a basic incline dumbbell fly. Yeah. Usually, I switch this up. Like if I started, if I finished up with it with an incline fly this week, then next time I train chest, I would finish instead of it, I'd like switch out the incline dumbbell fly and put it in its place. A flat dumbbell. A flat. Okay. You know, okay. You switch it up. Yeah. So you only hit chest like once, muscle groups once a week, you're doing it twice or? Well, see, because of my warm up, a lot of times my yeah, warm up is like, like, like a full I get a chance to do it. It's like you're the figure at the warm up. You know, exactly. But yeah. ultimately, that's what helps keep me in good condition all year round. Yeah, yeah you're you know, like functional. It helps me keep my body fat very low, and it also helps me with my recovery time. Okay. You know, because if I'm, if I'm able to train at a certain pace, even in my off season, then that means that my recovery time in between sets is good, which means my VO out, my VO2 output is very good, which means my body's ability to work under oxygen deficiency is good. And the only way to do that is to one, keep my cardio in all year round, and two, keep the, the rest time in between sets. Yeah. Now, by doing that, you know, keep one, that stamina up, yeah. it'll keep And a lot of people, they just go kind of like air mode, and it is no cardio, they're just all about getting big. And it, 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 but it'll hurt. Come, come oh, come no, exactly. That's a, yeah, you stand that guy up next to a guy that's been that has himself very well humbled, humbled before his discipline. Uh, yeah, always, he's always going to be just that much more polished. Today. It look, yeah, it just and looks. It's a better look to see. Yes, you know what I mean? I mean? That's why like runners for legs are so good yeah. because it's like it's it's a different kind of uh, exercise. You know, it's just different tension. Right? And you're also able to stimulate more of the different fibers okay. in the tissue. You know what I mean? You have, yeah. You have, you know, you have you know, three or four different kinds of muscle fibers. And the way to speak to the development of each of these fibers would be slight variances in the training. Believe it or not, there, there are slow twitch muscle fibers that respond better to you know uh, higher amounts of resistance and, and, and um, less reps. There are other you know more oxidative muscle fibers that respond better to higher reps. That's fucking deep, man. <laughs> That's, I swear though, it's a little thing, man. That's a lot of people don't understand. They just go through the motion. But once you actually focus on the muscle and you really, you get the little things down, it's find that sweet spot kind of thing. You know, what works for you, and that's what it is. Which is that's why it. in my training, yeah. if, even though I talk about high reps, yeah. there are times when I can't do high reps. But because I've aimed for that target and got a chance to satisfy that at some other time in my training throughout the week and even in the training session, what ends up happening is I end up by the time the week is done, I've addressed the totality of the muscle fibers that are somewhere within my body. You know what I mean? So the more oxidative tissues have already been, been tapped when I was doing higher reps. The slower, more the tissues that are more responsive to lower rep ranges and in and, and, um, and higher resistance, they've somehow been tapped. Think about this. We talked about doing the pull-ups earlier and opening up with 10, 12, and 15, but then getting to a place where I can only do six. six yeah. but, just, but just to make sure that I well, can get six yeah, yeah. every time. Well, that's still You're six. You're doing it. Doing it, yeah. And the, the fibers that respond to the lower the lower rep ranges mm -hmm. and the, 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 the greater amount of resistance, those fibers are being tapped in. So technically what ends up happening is in the totality of your training session, by the continuum of that week, you've really done something that speaks to everything. Yeah, you know what I mean? That full, complete physique. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and then that's, 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 that's what matters at the end of the day. <laughs> 
You've seen that full package. Yes. That's right. Is there any question I can try to answer for you or anything? Yeah, you covered a lot today. Yeah, yeah. I think it was perfect, man. It really deep. This opening oh, kept my mind a lot. This is kind of my opening for this. I'm, I'm, I appreciate it. All right, guys, thanks for checking in. This was for the Shape Use video series. Um, you can check the website if you want. This was a very deep session, and I hope uh, it gave you some uh, deeper view into our lives on, and Kai's uh, view about bodybuilding. And Open your deeper. world, guys. Open your perspective. There's a lot more in this industry. It's, it's all about that mind-muscle connection, guys. You know, you just you got to focus on the muscle. It's, uh, well, it's definitely been my pleasure and rare opportunity to have this experience today. And I thank the both of you on camera as well as off. Hey, hey. This has been very, very fruitful for me. And uh, I got a chance to hang out with the sexy squad today. The sexy and squad. try to hold my own with the sexy. Hey. Big sexy. So, um, thank you, Shape U TV. That's right. And uh, until next time. That's right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Stay shredded.